Welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see, there's a massive empty space where my um, Samsung S95B used to be. And to my left is my LG C30 Evo 42 inch OLED screen. And now it's the Black Friday sale, or well, it's just gone. I decided to treat myself to a brand new display uh, as a bit of an upgrade to pair with my RTX 5090 gaming PC. Now, um, I was looking around and it's been about three years since I bought my S95B, so I thought, you know, it's due an upgrade, due an image bump, and maybe a refresh rate bump. So I got myself the LG OLED G5 in the 48 inch range. And now the 48 inch isn't available everywhere. So I'm obviously from the UK and we do have it. And it does come with a stand. Like previously, the gallery series was really just a display that was really mounted on, on walls, but they've given you a smaller screen option now with a stand so you can kind of use it as a monitor now and you get all those benefits of uh, better peak brightness and you get of course the new a11 processor as well i think i'm just checking the box was okay there was no real damage and it does come very very well packaged um plenty of firming and uh the display was a little bit bigger than i thought and it comes with four hdmi 2.1 um ports so you've got plenty of connectivity there and um, yeah, I'm just going to get the stand on and get this thing put in its rightful place on top of my desk. So last thing is to peel off that little bit of plastic. So I'm just going to peel this off now to reveal the screen in all its glossy goodness. Now, some of the Samsung models use more of a matte finish, but LG goes for the glossy black finish and that kind of provides a more richer sharper color in my opinion uh, but it still deals with light reflections really well and as you can see um, this is how it looks for my streaming and recording pc i've got the lg c3 eva right next to it but the g5 that stands above in terms of brightness and sharpness it's absolutely insane i will show you some hdr gameplay in a moment but one thing to note that the 48 inch only goes up to 144 hertz. I really wish this was communicated a little bit better because every single review you'll see will be at like 165 hertz because of the 55 inch models and above do support that. This also uses a tandem RGB um, display. I know a lot of people had questions about that, but it does. And uh, a lot of people have proven that with the subpixel layout, they've taken pictures to see that it is different from the C5. It is a different tandem RGB uh, screen from the 55 inch and above, but it is one of the new screens. So you are going to get that brightness boost and believe me, it's an insanely bright screen. Okay guys, so this is actually the TV in HDR mode. I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077. I'm using my Samsung S23 Ultra to capture this in HDR. So I don't know how well this is coming out, but um, the settings I use is from a user called um, everything lg oled i believe his channel called what well, absolute legend he goes through pretty much every single setting you need to get your lg hdr experience popping and i'll put a link in the description to his channel or the, the exact video i use because honestly it makes all the difference and it just looks amazing so i'm going to just go through the in-game settings that i'm using as well so as you can see um HDR 10 PQ is what I'm using and if I go into the HDR settings you can see I've got the tone mapping at uh, 1300 because the 48 inch has like a I think max brightness or full screen brightness of 1300 or like 10% window 2200 it's a little bit lower it's lower than the 55 inch and the 65 inch but it's still amazing and uh, the base kind of SDR uh, luminance is around 400 nits which is pretty bright for SDR so it's all around just a really really bright screen and honestly when you're using it as a monitor and you're up pretty close you don't want it to be insanely bright I've actually got the OLED screen brightness at 985% because it's so bright it's ridiculous but it looks absolutely stunning and I'm just going to uh, put up the the um, on-screen display of the of the screen so you can see that the G-Sync is working you can see that 
the um, FPS is moving up and down, moving around, and um, that just shows you that the screen is using its variable refresh rate. So I'm using path tracing with uh, frame generation, just 2x on my RTX 5090, and um, it just works amazing. It's gonna steal a car from someone. I like this car. Give it to me. I'm going to drive around. I'm telling you, this just looks insane. I'm coming from a Samsung S95B, and that was amazing. The colors of the Tandem OLED, um, a Tandem RGB OLED, is comparable to the QD OLED in terms of richness. So you're not losing anything there. It just truly is a really, really, really nice screen. So I'm just going to turn off the OSD now so you guys can actually see the game properly. Sorry, I just had to lean forward and grab my remote there. Yeah, this is this is insane. This is easily one of the best HDR experiences I've had. On a PC at least. Because you can really, really tune fine-tune this TV. Now initially there was some issue with HDR when this, this display first came out, but the latest update has cured that for the most part. So it's improved and the input latency issue has been resolved as well. So if you saw earlier reviews and you've got a bad impression, just know that those issues have been resolved. But yeah, this is absolutely insane. And this feels great as well in terms of input latency. You, I've got no complaints whatsoever. just goes to show you even though that the 55 inch 65 inch and I think maybe even the 77 inch can do uh, 165 Hertz actually trying to achieve that on a PC depending on your quality settings it's not the easiest thing in the world even though I've got like a top spec PC it's not that easy right, let's see if I can get into a gunfight or something Night City just looks amazing in HDR, honestly. Sorry guys, nothing personal. Hopefully this is coming through clear because I don't I've never really done a HDR recording with my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. But um hopefully this is giving you guys some kind of glimpse of what to expect if you want the 48 inch. There isn't too much information on the 48 inch and unfortunately a lot of reviewers don't get 48 inch samples. I, I would imagine LG wants to put its best foot forward, but I think it's it's kind of like when Nvidia sells those graphics cards with the same name, where they def but they've got different CUDA core counts, different memory speeds. It's kind of like that. They're kind of finessing the public a little bit because the peak brightness is cut down a little bit. The refresh rate doesn't go to 165 hertz. And um, but apart from that, it still has the A11 processor. It still has the RGB tandem screen, a slightly different one from the 55. 65 and maybe 77 inch, but it's still one of the latest screens with the um, different sub pixel layout from the C5 series. So you're not getting ripped off or nothing, it's just I think some details need to be made more clear. But anyway, guys, I think I will leave it there. Um, using this as a PC monitor uh, is absolutely insane, easily one of the best screens I've ever witnessed in the flesh. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Pick it up if you can get it at a good price. I got mine for just over 1,000, so 1,050 pounds in the UK. And that was on a Black Friday sale, so I, I had to go and treat myself to that and I um, definitely have no regrets. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.